Well, we're here at uh, Fairdale High School. Um, this is kind of a, a big appreciation meeting for uh, a few companies who have who've granted us a forklift. And uh, the Heavy Equipment Science Program is just going to give them a big thank you for uh, this awesome grant. I have uh, so much appreciation for it that I can, that I can just get this, uh, this education and this know-how on how to operate things right here in high school. You know, I don't have to, uh, I don't have to go out to a, a separate school after I'm hired to get trained for, for weeks and things like that. It's, it's really easy to get the certification here if you just take the program seriously. And I love the way that the schools are now. They're more focused on being college and career ready, especially JCPS and the people with us today. They have made a, a great, great uh, commitment to our students and, and, their, and their success compared to how schools used to be, where it was just, you know, you, they just wanted you to go to college, and if you didn't, then you didn't. Before we get started, I don't want to be out here a long time, but I would like to thank some people that are not going to be speaking. Uh, Marissa Bell, uh, our assistant principal, she's in charge of career tech education. And uh, Diane McKenzie, our JCPS specialist uh, from, J from the central office. A college career readiness. She has really made a lot of things happen in this school, and we wouldn't be where we are today without Ms. McKenzie. I also want to thank uh, our plant operator, Connie Helsman, who does a tremendous job keeping our buildings and grounds together. Uh, Jennifer Breslin with the JCPS, who put together the, uh, with the communications department. Uh, Senator Dan Syme, who lives in Fairdale, I really appreciate you coming. And a very special person to me, state representative and a Fairdale graduate, Jeff Donahue, who uh, I had in class back in the 60s. When was it, Jeff? It was 68, 68 or 69. Uh, Rob, Rob Barnes, the director of distribution and transportation for Clark. Back here, we still have some seats if you'd like to sit down. Uh, Bob Isbell, General Manager, Louisville Clark. Over here, thank you, thank you for coming. Alan Sutherland, who I worked with out of the Lexington office to put this together. Alan, you did a great job, I appreciate it. Uh, Mike Ivory called me a couple weeks ago and I didn't know it was Mike Ivory till, till he said his last name. We've been talking, he's over at the Distribution Center, uh, plant project manager over here right off Preston. Uh, Brad Baker, the president of Cardinal Carrier. Appreciate you coming and appreciate you taking your tie off. Uh, Craig Zernhill, the OSHA safety trainer. And uh, where is he? Behind the sign. David and Toy, some great news. Uh, Craig and Pat and, and everybody with the uh, Cardinal Carrier here in Louisville, they have agreed to come out and train you and toy on site. So uh, they're not going to charge us to do that, which is a, another great gift we've talked about today. I'm going to start off with the Director of College Career Education, uh, Ms. Christy Rogers. I'm an old basketball coach too, so I'll dig down deep for that voice, but thank you for having me here. I am the new College and Career Director for JCPS, and we want to thank our business partners for this donation. Uh, JCPS is serious about outcomes and we want every student that graduates countywide to be college and or career ready and that's our commitment. That's why I'm here and we want every child, all of them, to come out ready for credit bearing classes for college readiness but also with a, an industry certificate and we want to return the favor of this donation that we produce graduates that can step into your companies that will show up, that will be drug free, that will be there on time, that will have passion for their work, willingness to learn, and that have some skills in your industry. We get it, we know it, we understand it. And JCPS from wall to wall, we're committed. We'll be unveiling Talent Development Academy expansion in the next week to our board members about all schools having opportunities to expand career pathways, uh, to evolve past our five-star model, and to give principals and students an opportunity to put in their schools industry pathways that meet the needs of this community. We've got to get serious about it. We are not producing enough industry certified students and this is one step. Uh, businesses like Carryover, Cardinal Carrier, or Carrier and Clark Material Handling, we're going to need your time and talent. 
We appreciate your equipment donation, but we need you to not forget us and be here to train our instructors, to continue to inform us on what the cutting edge changes are each year. There will be a new layer to this and we need to stay informed. In the past, businesses give a donation and they walk away and assume we'll stay in the loop. We need you to stay involved in Fairdale. We're gonna build in time for our, our teachers to get to you for in continuous training and expand with financial support from the district. Our school board, uh, Dr. Hargens, Tom Hudson, there's a major commitment for industry. We will be in, unveiling a new work ethic certification that will go countywide for students who get recognized for 98% attendance so they can walk into your company and show you that they've been attending school for the last two years and we're committed to this, to this initiative. So thank you to the teachers, to Brad Weston, to the staff, to Dr. McKenzie, our board members, and everyone, but from the Office of College and Career Readiness, we're fired up and I'm glad to be here. And I think you'll see significant changes. We will monitor every child by name and by need, and we will know what they need, what their dreams are, their goals, their wishes, and we will help them fulfill that with an industry cert. So we're fired up and thank you from the Office of College and Career Readiness. Thank you, companies. We're gonna do our part. Next, I'd like to bring up a gentleman who started this program, was one of the founding fathers of this program. Uh, David Myers, 1999 David, been here ever since, and very quickly, uh, you gave us this awesome piece of equipment, but when we got started, Flynn Brothers gave us the backhoe and the bulldozer, MSD gave us an excavator and a, and a uh, skid loader. Uh, we, as I told most of you inside, we work on the word free, so uh, we, couldn't, we couldn't do it without people like you. Next up, uh, our heavy equipment science instructor, David Myers. I'm still a coach, and coaches don't normally wear ties, but this, this is a big deal for our, for our kids, and uh, that's why I have such a passion. Uh, Josh and Skyler, I'm going to bring up here in just a second, uh, it's about them. Uh, I, all I get to do is drive the bus when we go on field trips and things like that. I, I coach it back here in the classroom. Some of you have been back here and seen uh, the 25 years that I've coached football around Jefferson County. I, I treat them maybe not traditionally like what you would see in a core class. Uh, you have to get after them. They have to know what the real life's about outside. And uh, the, these two seniors right here with this donation opens up another door for them. Uh, we've got kids working all over the city of Louisville, over in Indiana, and this is just going to open up another avenue for them uh, to make a whole bunch of money. And uh, when, you, when you start talking money, their ears go straight up in the air. Um, Without further ado, without going into history lesson about all the things that we've had uh, donated to us, I'm going to introduce Skylar Sample and let him talk to you all about uh, what this means to him and some of his other classmates. Skylar Sample. Thank you, Mr. Myers. Uh, like I said, I'm Skylar Sample. I'm a student here at Fairdale High School. I'm actually a senior in the heavy equipment science program. And uh, I just, I don't know anywhere else that me and my colleagues could get an education so awesome and uh, I have such an appreciation for this program. Uh, me and my colleagues and my instructors, uh, we understand that there is a lack of skilled workers and skilled graduates with certifications, as Ms. Rogers said, um, and we're working to help that. And for, for companies like Clark and a Cardinal Carrier to make things like this happen, it makes us, it makes me and my colleagues, it, it actually excites us. We're excited to get out there on the equipment and learn how to drive it um, and learn how to operate it. And we understand the money that can be made uh, just by a certification and driving this forklift. And uh, I, I would like to thank um, Dennis Lawrence, the president and CEO of Clark Equipment, uh, for granting us this forklift. Also, uh, Pat Plamp, the vice president of sales at Cardinal Carrier. Uh, this is just an amazing thing. And like Mr. Gardner said, uh, we couldn't have this program and we couldn't be excited to, to learn how to operate and, and get out there and make money and make careers uh, without people like you. Um, and I like to keep I like to keep my speeches a little short and sweet and, and to the point. And, and, I, and I did wear a tie, I'm sorry if that offends you at all. Uh, but, but once again, thank you guys a lot. Skyler, come here a second. Skyler finished 15th in the National Skills USA competition this summer, and he's just a junior, so he has a big future in front of him, and oh boy, cleans up pretty nice when he gets off that tractor. 
Thank you. Next, our, another, our other heavy equipment science teacher. Uh, we got so big we had to hire a second one several years ago. He's a Fairdale graduate, Toy Liu. Uh, hello, my name is Toy Pu Liu, and uh, I'm going to keep it short and sweet. Also, a former coach. Uh, I want to say a couple things from a teacher standpoint uh, with our students, and, and, and I'm sure Mr. Myers wouldn't argue with me here. What you guys do when we get these types of donations makes a difference in, in these students' lives. Um, you know, it's, it's one thing for us to get up and have them read it and, and, and talk about it until their face turns blue and they just get tired of watching us in the classroom. It's another thing for, for them to be able to operate something like that, to be able to touch it, uh, smell it, and have an experience with it. And it drives learning. It skyrockets the potential for learning, and it also skyrockets the potential for their enthusiasm. So once again, uh, to uh, Clark Material Handling, thank you for the donation and thank you for the continuing education and the continued interest in our program. For those of you that came in from Lexington, as you go back, you look on the left, there's warehouse after warehouse after warehouse this community because of UPS. And that's why this program is going to be so important to us. Next, uh, there are two people really responsible for this, and, and Pat will talk in a minute. But first, uh, I'd like to welcome uh, the CEO of Clark Material and Handling Company, who uh, really was the final say on whether or not we got this, Mr. Dennis Lawrence. Well, good morning, everybody. I'm Dennis Lawrence, President and CEO of Clark Material Handling, and uh, we're proud to be here today. Um, I'll just give you a little quick history of, of Clark and where we sort of came from. Uh, our business is going to be 100 years in uh, 100 years old in 2017. So we started in 1917, and the guy that started the company is a guy named Eugene Clark, and um, and um, he started the business. and And at one point in time, uh, Clark was number one. We were number one. We sold more forklifts, construction equipment, highway equipment than anybody else in the world. And the division that we have today is, is the forklift division, and the other divisions got sold off to other companies. And in 2003, our company bought Clark out of bankruptcy. And the reason why we bought it out of bankruptcy was because we were days away from seeing this iconic brand of Clark going away forever. And if you can think about things like Coca-Cola and Kleenex and Clark, these are iconic names. These are names that mean something to everybody. There's not one person that I don't run into on a weekly basis that doesn't know somebody, been with someone, married to somebody, worked with somebody that came from Clark. Clark has been around for a hundred years. Thousands and thousands and thousands of people have made lives easier for other people because we provide a piece of equipment that takes the burden off your back. And that's really important to us. So when we bought the company in 2003, we're with a company that actually manufactures baseball caps. We have nothing to do with forklifts. But my partner started a company in 1959, and they, uh, he's a Korean guy, nice guy, 76 years old. And he started his company in 1959 as a Korean orphan, 11 years old, and he had nothing in life but his two hands. That's all he had, lost his family during the North Korean, South Korean conflict. So here's a guy that came into the world with absolutely nothing. 11 years old, had nothing. At the age of 19, he started a hat company. Today, we're the largest hat company in the world. We have Clark Forklift. We have Daewoo Bus. But the biggest part that we do at Clark is our philanthropy business. That's the biggest part that we do. Because what he said early on in life was, if I can't find a way of giving back for those people that helped get me where I am, then what's the point of it? I've been with him for 34 years. I can't get away from this guy because I believe probably more in what we do as an organization than I do about the forklift. The forklift is just the means to us being able to provide more for other people. So by giving you the forklift, it's nothing for us. It's what we do. Some people go and make a big deal about it because it's, they want to go and put their names out there and all that. We look for opportunities, not just to give away something to make ourselves feel good, it has to be something that brings more value down the road. And that's what we do with our forklifts. That's what we do with our partnerships with Fairdale. We have also uh, an organization at Woodford County High School. We've done exactly the same thing last year. We set up their engineering department. 
We could have given them cash and said good luck and do what you want with it. We've set them up with the tools that they need to be able to do the next piece of their life, which is the educational piece. Mr. Bake, who's my partner, he has a grade three education. I'm 34 years with him. I have a high school education. I'm a Canadian from, from Canada with only a high school education. I have absolutely no education for being up here and doing what I do here every day other than somebody believed in me. Somebody believed in me at an early age of 24 and said, I'll tell you what, why don't you sell a few hats and we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Today we're a $2.4 billion corporation. We have 17,000 employees and we've done all right. The key here is, is what we do with the products that we sell, with the people that we have working for us. If you work at Clark, you have to provide back to our community. You just can't come to work every day and sell trucks or buy parts or ship parts. You have to find ways to give back to the community. So by us working in partnership with Cardinal Carrier, who is a fantastic partner, you guys are going to love them. They are a fantastic partner. They really take good care of us here in Louisville. They'll take great care of this product. You take great care of your students because in the end, as an organization, we are losing this piece of technology where we have people that come out. I think you said it before. You have kids that are coming out that are believing that they're going to make the big bucks out of the gate and everything else. We're losing that entrepreneurial spirit of people getting back to muscle, back to grease, and doing things the way America was built to do things, one step at a time. Thank you very much for inviting us here today. Good luck with your forklift. If there's anything we can do for you, just let us know. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I promise you, you said you'd like to help. Uh, your name will be right on top, your <laughs> number will be on top of the list. We won't forget that. Uh, I wasn't even going to say this, but this place is very special to me. This was my grandfather's farm. He bought it in the 1800s. And uh, things have changed with women today. He gave, my mother was the youngest of 11 children. He gave all the sons 10 acres down Fairdale Road, and he gave the daughters five acres down National Turnpike. So I got stuck with the five acres, which I still have right up by the front, but this is very special to me to be here today. And uh, just the way that you came up, Dennis, I got cut from the basketball team in 1958, and that's why I'm here today as a teacher, my coach and my other teachers. Uh, next, we'd like to, the guy that really put this thing together, uh, started the initial contact. Uh, Brad, I know you were very instrumental in it, but, but Pat Plamp and I have worked together. I gave him a phone call, and you know, a lot of people pass notes around, they lay them down, and they never do anything. Pat followed through on this, and uh, he's the one that got the ball rolling, and I'd just like for you to say a few words, and we thank you so much for not giving up on helping our kids and taking the next steps. Pat Plam. Well, thank you, Lloyd. And I didn't know that I was gonna be speaking today, but uh, Lloyd called me about half a year ago. Uh, maybe it was in late uh, January, and there was gonna be a meeting of the heavy equipment science group here, and he invited me to come to the meeting. And uh, I met uh, the guys here, and they were talking about the equipment that they had, and I'm, with my group and I'm thinking, man, the piece of equipment that I represent is not being taught in this class. So we spoke after the uh, meeting and he said, could you get us a forklift? And I said, well, I don't know about that. You know, forklifts, they're pretty expensive to tell you the truth. Uh, not like a, uh, a donation where you could give some money and, and make it go away. So uh, I contacted, and I know Clark and I know their foundation, I know that they're looking to help people beyond uh, just giving them a job. Um, Dennis didn't tell you this, but every employee at Clark is given two paid days off to provide community service. And that's every single year, every mm -hmm. single every year. Every year. So uh, they want to give back to the community and the, and, the, and the employee can do anything they want, you know, whatever works best for them. But Lloyd and I got together on the forklift and uh, I reached out to Alan, I reached out to Dennis, and they came to the logistics games. I'm not sure if you, a lot of you are remembering or part of that, but uh, the Greater Louisville Economic Group put together some logistics games. And we were a big part of that as well. And the folks came up and saw that and then asked what more can they do. 
And when they said what more we can do and Lloyd put together a, a request for a forklift, we were able to bond it all together and uh, earlier this year we were able to bring the forklift over and today we'd like to officially give this piece of equipment to Fairdale to educate the kids and that's what it's all about. So thank you very much. Thank you. Brad, would you like to say anything? Or You're welcome to, please. No, I just wanted to point out, I'm Brad Baker, I'm president of Cardinal Carrier. Been there for 35 years. We have been a Clark dealer since 1963. Uh, just a couple of things I'd like to point out. I was wearing a tie when I came today. I was made to take it off. And I am not a coach, but I think I could have made it in the NBA if somebody had given me a chance. And, and that's really what this is all about, is giving kids a chance. So thank you for everybody that was involved. Thank you. Uh, Dan, you have anything you would like to say? Sure. Yeah. First of all, I'm going to have to get with the program here. So. There you go. Right. Yeah. 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 I started a trend here. He sure has. Uh, again, I'm Senator Dan Sime. We want to thank you all for the, this tremendous gift. Uh, you know, I was in the construction business uh, in the past. I've done a little building. And uh, here a while back, I would have just traded my firstborn for uh, a drywall man. Somebody could do drywall. You know, so I understand the need. We understand it in Frankfurt. We understand that... Uh, that, uh, you know, it's interesting, I had a young man come in my office here a while back and uh, from UK and I asked him what his degree or what his uh, career path was and he says, I'm an arts major. And I said, son, I don't want to bust your bubble, but I've never written a check to an arts major. Well, I do write a check to people in construction. You know, and thank you for this this program. It's tremendous for, 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 uh, for Fairdale and as a, as a resident of Fairdale. It's always nice to see one of your schools doing well. So thanks for the invite. So. Thank you, Dan. Sure, sure. I've uh, put a few licks on Jeff's behind. I had him in shop class. I'll tell you what, he was a great woodworker. I uh, made a stereo, I believe, uh -huh. in Woodworking 3, back when you had turntables. And what a great job you did. What a great student he was. And we love this guy. He does a lot for Fairdale, but he's one of my former students. I appreciate it. Uh, thank you all for coming today. I am Jeff Donahue. I'm a, like I said, Lloyd said, I'm a future former student here, and um, I have a model in, uh, about what I do every day, and I love what I do for a living. And uh, if you can help someone, it's been a good day. And that's what I try to do, and that's what you all have done today by donating this forklift. And not only have you done that, but you, you've done something that's going to help generations to come because of uh, the students come out of these schools and, and, and do well. It has an effect on their family, and it's something that they'll carry forward in life as well, too. So I want to thank you all for, for doing that. Uh, it's a personal pride. I love this school, love this community, and, and I've seen it grow. And, and what I like about this program here is not only are they teach them the skills about driving a forklift, but coming out of the automotive industry, they teach them the soft skills, be on time, you know, do your job, you know, uh, and, uh, and those things uh, make a big difference because a lot of times I think it gets lost. You know, we always had that old saying, you know, work smarter, not harder, but uh, it's our fault that we don't have the skilled trades folks we have today but we're turning that around. This is a great moment for us today. So thank you all. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. you know, why this program is so important, everybody wasn't made to go to college. There's so many people encouraged to go to college, there's nobody left to do the work. So uh, we love all of our uh, trades that we teach here, the, the careers that we teach. We thank guys like this that come out and help us. But uh, Linda, if you would just uh, thank everybody in closing remarks. Thank you, Lloyd. I, he stole my thunder. I was going to say I was also a coach. I, I had coached uh, coach basketball here, with, and uh, Lloyd was also a coach when I was here, too. And we took lots of trips at, with t our teams together. But uh, I can't uh, thank you all enough, Clark and Cardinal Carrier, for the investment that you're making in our students and what this means to the Jefferson County Board of Education. We are so dependent on our partners and we have great partners out here at Fairdale High School just phenomenal partners I I've not seen any school that, that rivals what we have and uh, I also want to thank Lloyd Gardner because he connects us to these partners he is a special person to, to bring these relationships and these partnerships together to help our students you know our vision is for our kids to graduate prepared, inspired, and empowered to be contributing citizens. And I'm telling you, just 
being able to see and touch and work on these things, that takes the, the, these kids to a different level in their passion for what they want to do in life. So I, I can't thank you all enough, and I appreciate very much the chance to be able to express that to you. Thank you. You know, we have a lot of coaches here today, and I, I really yeah, hesitate. I to tell you I was a coach, too. You were? <laughs> well, you'd be surprised, uh, Bob. You said you could have been in the NBA. I've been in the game of basketball since 1958, and I never played a game. And uh, I had somebody that cared about me. And my favorite story, I was on a church team one time, and I went to the gym, and they only had four players. And they asked me not to start. <laughs> uh, we thank you for coming if you would we have refreshments we have drinks we have air conditioning uh, please stick around we'd like to show you our simulator room where we have uh, we purchased two uh, forklift simulators uh, the computers and flat screens are on order that will operate those uh, thanks to Diane and Christy and those people who make those possible but once again we cannot thank you enough for what you've done for us, and uh, we appreciate it, and you're always welcome in Fairdale High School. Thanks, everybody, for coming, and uh, please go inside and enjoy yourself.